Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Luminescent here. Um, thank you so much for the new subscribers and the likes and shares of the video. Uh, thank you also for the bookings and things of that nature that I've received um, for astrology. Um, if you would like a astrology reading or a tarot reading or both, um, you can definitely hit me up. The link is in the description. Um, either in my about section or in an actual video. Um, today, um, the moon is in Libra. I've been kind of um, <laughs> trying to rest. I just feel like so, like, I felt really drained leading up to the new moon. And I've been wanting to sleep a lot. So, um, I'm back here um, while the moon is in Lib Libra. I'm going to go ahead and do the spread for this as well. Um, I gotta say, this is like kind of perfect. <laughs> um, just some Libra stuff, I guess. But um, here, um, well, first of all, um, astrology wise, the moon is in Libra. It's going to, um, it already did its opposition to Chiron and Aries. It's going to uh, square after the sextile to Venus. It's going to square off with Capricorn energies. Pluto, Saturn, and Jupiter. Um, Jupiter is the only one that's direct right now. Everything else is still retrograde. Um, right now, it's getting into a in conjunction or quincunx with Neptune, which I definitely feel right now as well. Like, um, like things could be like you could see where things could be better, but um, you're just gonna let the universe. Um, help you balance everything out instead of acting too um too much on whatever dream or illusion you may have so um and then we'll get into the squares later on where you know we have to make some serious you know decisions that can impact us for you know the long while you know Saturn and Libra are you know they work well together because, you know, Saturn is exalted in Libra. The best authority is one that is just and fair. So um, we'll be have to make, we'll be equipped to make those kind of decisions with the energy that's coming. Um, and everything is kind of leading up to that. So um, the no here with the Mystic Rebel Oracle deck, no means that either A, um, you have to wait till your next opportunity or B, you have to say no to something that's kind of, sort of, a little bit what you want, but not fully. And that's being clarified by the Nine of Cups. So it's like you're, you, you're being told no, but you're almost exactly where you need to be. So it's okay to be patient away. And I, I didn't even notice this at first, but they're both, you know, got their arms folded. So um, you may receive a no because there is something you need to hold out for that will please you um, way better. Or you may have to say no to something and, you know, understand that you're saying no means that something better can come along for you. Now, divine timing is here. So um, it's time to be more focused on the emotions that, excuse me, that you're sharing or you want to share with someone else. Um, because um, you've been receiving no's and you've been sitting waiting patiently uh, with all your cups filling up. Um, the divine timing is letting us know that, you know, keep focusing on whatever situation you want to manifest in this cup and um, be gentle with yourself in the meantime as well. And lastly, stand your ground. We got the ace of cups. So um, in the meantime, between time, you're fo doing a lot of focusing here. Um, you know, initially we had the no. So now we get to stand our ground here in this picture and we have the ace of cups so obviously there'll be a fulfillment with um standing your ground and not giving up on something that you truly want um that'll help bring balance to the situation where you may have had some type of doubt but you still chose to keep your head up and keep moving along knowing that you know the universe is on your side and not working against you so at the bottom of the mystic rebel deck um we have follow what makes you happy and then here we have the eight of cups 
so um again these two go very well together in my opinion just because you know if you keep following what makes you happy besides the mountains of course and going up the mountain in both of these pictures so following what makes you happy does mean you leaving behind old ideas old ways in this moon in conjuncting to neptune may mean that there are some you know residual emotions that we need to balance out and understand that it's time to let go in order for you to see what is actually going to make you happy so um here with the no this nine of cups is definitely um about us you know even though here you know at the bottom we have the eight of cups um we've already walked away from things that are no longer serving us and because we did we were given an additional cup to feel that was about you know what it is that we do want in order to get to the 10 so um there may be situations that come up where we can honestly feel because this is um piscean energy just like the eight of cups is pisces we may honestly feel like we shouldn't be told no or we don't want to wait any longer but we're continuing to be forced into a situation where we have to wait we have to be patient we have to be kind to ourselves while we're waiting and allow the divine timing of when you are ready to receive or give this cup to someone it'll actually be you know worth it and because you stood your ground for so long and you finally get the cup or you give that cup away it'll actually be a sincere emotional fulfillment which is what this card is representing here with the heart and the overflow of emotions and um standing your ground also can indicate um it may not have anything to do with necessarily fighting anyone but it can definitely have a lot to do with you maintaining your emotional stance you maintaining your equilibrium your homeostasis emotionally so that no one is able to tip you one way or the other just because you've waited or you've put in the time and, and sometimes you know we can become impatient because we want things how we want it when we want it and our emotions can be a, a little jumbled up but as long as we stay focused on the bigger picture and again divine timing means that the universe has a way of doing things that has nothing to do with human nature but it has everything to do with what the human is calling for it has everything to do with, with the spirit that the human encompasses has put itself into place for so if we continue to you know be realistic about what it is we're asking for be realistic about the cycles that we've been through and the cycles it will take to get to the perfect emotional situations we're looking for whether it's a love interest coming to us or we coming to it um, understand that that meeting will take place as long as you continue to be consistent and stay on your ground um, with that square from libra to capricorn it has a lot to do with you know an initiation um, that will take place but that initiation is about one balance and two longevity and sometimes we can bring things into balance and make decisions um or not want to make a decision at all because libra um especially sun libra is at its fall position because it has to share that light and it's only one being it's only one thing um which is why the sun is exalted in the one which is aries it's opposite libra so the sun has to figure out a way to divide itself or to share itself rather um being the one in order to make the two um and this is where the second half of the zodiac kind of you know starts to illumine outside and inside and have a, a wider perception and understanding um because they all the libra through pisces has a lot to do with you another in the world so um again with this square um and the sun is about to move into libra soon so get ready um this moon in libra squaring off with the capricorn energy is about us understanding or coming to a decision about how we are going to start facing reality from this point on because we have gone through a lot 
you know, of, of no's. We've been through a lot of no seasons. Um, even in this year alone, I know I personally, you know, experienced some as well. But we've gone through a lot of no's. Like, no, it's not time yet. Or no, it's just not for you. Or, you know, no, this is not what I want. Even though um, it might bring some type of satisfaction, it's not going to be the complete satisfaction that I'm looking for or that I want. So we continue to be patient. We continue to wait um, on with the universe to continue to fill that cup up. And, um, and standing your ground actually is a benefit in that situation because Capricorn is also looking to see, like, are you are you able to stand the test of time? Um, when all these different situations and changes come up, will you still be there? Will you still have your integrity or will you, will you allow your integrity to, to be broken by people, places, things, and other situations that has to do with your environment and not even directly with you? Will you allow your environment to change who you are and, and how you love and how you give? And, um, and if and when you do that, um, is it you are you following what makes you happy or are you doing the opposite are you willing to climb the mountain on the rough and rugged side to get to where you want to be and and start to see the beauty and standing your ground um which a lot of beauty comes with you know commitment um and, and capricorn is uh energy regarding commitment so um even though saturn comes and forces us to commit to the life that we have came here to do and that means taking things away from us or forcing us to move away from situations that are out of alignment with that vision and accepting the new path of integrity that we must take and stick with in finding our own resources within to help us stand our ground so that when that path continually pays off the more you work at it the more you choose to do it whether that's a career or a relationship again there's some type of commitment that's being made or that has been made and you have to stand your ground the more that you keep that commitment the more ace of cup moments you will have and you know it'll make everything that all the waiting and all the no's will definitely seem worth it because you stood your ground and you know, nothing, you don't need anyone else to, you know, come and bring you anything. You're working on this yourself. Like, it's only one person here, one person here. And, you know, the hand coming from the universe, you know, here. So, while we've been waiting, you know, patiently, of course. <laughs> while we've been waiting through all the different no's and the adversities and the situations that feel like no, but we still go along with it because we know you know, the nine is a number of wisdom. We, we are wise enough to know that it's best to sit and wait while the situation comes to its fruition, you know, and then there is an opportunity for change to take place as we continue to, you know, fill our cup up with, you know, affirmations of things that we want, keeping our emotions high and connected in spirit and soul with the things that we want to see for ourselves and the rest of the world. You know, we don't want to be selfish, of course, but it is smart to be, you know, selfish when it comes to filling up your cup because you can't give a cup away without filling up your own. And maybe that time that you're taking to do that requires you to say no to some things and some people, but in the end, as long as you stand your ground, you'll get the fulfillment that you're looking for. All right, so that's my spiel for this moon in Libra. Um, thank you so much for being here. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, you can also find me on Instagram and Facebook. Um, you can follow me on those platforms. And you can also uh, book a reading, Luminous at 6org Have a good one, y'all.